friends welcome back to my channel techno education academy in this video lecture we will derive the equation of heat conduction through composite sphere what are the application of composite sphere okay whenever we solve the problems of the nuclear reactors and any uh, spherical shaped vessel okay in which we can store the fluid okay it is made by more than one layer it is called composite sphere and in this video lecture we will derive the equation of heat transfer for composite sphere consider a hollow sphere made of material having constant thermal conductivity here we are considering k it is constant throughout the heat transfer here we are considering another parameter hhf and hcf hhf means it is the heat transfer coefficient for hot fluid and hcf means it is the heat transfer coefficient for cold fluid same as thf it is the temperature of hot fluid and tcf it is the temperature of cold fluid for example uh, whenever we solve the example of boiler okay so inside the composite sphere okay here the steam is filled so it is our hot fluid and outside of the boiler okay atmospheric uh, air is there or atmosphere is there it is our cold fluid so thf and tcf it is the temperature of hot fluid and cold fluid respectively same as t1 t2 and t3 it is the temperature at intermediate layer same as r1 r2 r3 it is the radius of the layer first layer second layer and third layer from the origin of the hollow sphere consider a cross section of composite sphere the heat flow equation can be written as okay here we can write down different equation for heat transfer the first equation is q equal to hhf 4 pi r1 square thf minus t1 as we know that according to the newton law of cooling okay uh, this law is applicable for convection okay here the it will be transferred through convection okay between the hot fluid and inner layer of the hollow sphere here you can see that here the hot fluid is split uh, inside the uh, hollow sphere and uh, between the fluid and the inner layer of the hollow sphere convection will be take place and it will follow newton law of cooling and according to the newton law of cooling q equal to h a delta t okay it will follow newton law of cooling and conduction will follow fourier law q equal to minus k a dt by dx we have already discussed in my previous lecture so between the hot fluid and inner surface of the sphere okay convection will be take place and uh, we know that area of the uh, sphere is 4 pi r square so q equal to h hf it is the heat transfer coefficient for convection and uh, 4 pi r square square and 4 pi r1 square it is the area okay from the origin at radius r1 and t hf minus t1 here the convection will be take place so the temperature difference is hot fluid temperature difference and inner surface layer temperature t1 between two layer a and b conduction will be take place and it will follow fourier law and according to fourier law q equal to minus k dt by dx and we have already derived the equation of uh, heat transfer okay through the uh, spherical coordinate system okay in form of Uh, r2 minus r1 r3 minus r2 so q equal to 4 pi k a r1 r2 t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 it is the uh, heat transfer in layer a same as in layer b heat transfer according to the fourier law q equal to 4 pi k b r2 r3 t2 minus t3 divided by r3 minus r2 so here you can see that in layer b okay the thickness is r3 minus r2 okay and for layer a the thickness is r2 minus r1 you can easily understand through this schematic diagram again the convection will be take place the outermost layer of the hollow sphere and uh, cold fluid or atmospheric air it is convection and it will follow newton law for cooling so q equal to h a delta t here our h is heat transfer coefficient for convection for cold fluid as we know that area of the sphere at r3 radius is 4 pi r3 square 
and the temperature difference between the outer layer and uh, atmospheric air is T3 minus TCF. TCF means temperature of cold field. This is called equation 1, 2, 3 and 4. We have already derived it in previous slide. Now uh, addition will be take place from left hand side term and right hand side term in equation 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we are getting. So here you can see that in this 4 equation Q term in numerator and in denominator 4 pi is common. So it is keep it outside from the bracket okay, and uh, in bracket uh, we can write down the remaining term equal to. On another side temperature difference is there. Okay, so whenever the addition will be take place, so here you can see that this is THF minus T1, this is minus T1, this is plus T1, so it is cancelled out. This is minus T2, this is plus T2, so this is also cancelled out. And uh, minus T3 plus T3. So in temperature term, only the uh, remaining term is THF minus TCF. Okay, temperature difference between the hot fluid and cold fluid. Continue from previous equation. Now we will make the object Q because our objective is to derive the equation of heat transfer for composite sphere. So this term, it is in denominator of temperature difference and this 4 pi term, it is multiplied with delta T term. So Q equal to 4 pi THF minus TCF divided by in denominator this whole term. Okay, it is in denominator of temperature difference. So here 1 upon HHF into R1 square it is the convective resistance at inner layer of the holosphere and uh, this 1 upon HCF into R3 square it is the convective resistance at outer layer between the outer layer and cold fluid. And this is the thermal resistance of layer A and layer B respectively. If there are n concentric sphere, then the above equation can be written as, okay, here we are only considering two layers, A and B. For example, uh, there are three layers, four layers, five layers, okay. So the universal equation can be written as, for the n layers, Q equal to 4 pi THF minus TCF divided by uh, convective resistance, 1 upon HHF into R1 square plus sigma, sigma means submission, there are number of layers n equal to 1 to n equal to n. So for example, uh, there are 4 layers. So we need to calculate separately 4 thermal resistance. Okay, then after uh, uh, we will put the uh, separate resistance in this equation and we can uh, calculate the heat transfer. For example, there are 5 layers. So we need to calculate 5 separate resistance. Okay, so this equation, it is for n number of layers. Inside and outside heat transfer coefficient are not considered. Okay, if we are not considering HHF and HCF, then the above equation can be written as follow. So, thank you friends for watching this video. I hope this content it will be helpful to you. If you would like to watch this type of more technical videos, then please subscribe our channel and also share with your friends for more video notification.